Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. I always appreciate it, guys. And what I got for you today is some MLB The Show 17 franchise gameplay. I know I've been behind on this, but I'm about to get it kicked up and get back into the swing of things. As you can see, we are 0-1. Just spring training right now when I did restart my franchise when the latest you know, uh, rosters came out provided by the guys of Operation Sports. Shout outs to them. And look at this, guys. Mr. P.E.D. himself. <laughs> I got to I got to tease him, guys, because the funny thing is, you know, guys were telling me, you know, well, well give me just a second. Wait, let, let's let's let him celebrate his home run here. Nice shot. And I definitely love the animation right there from the Orioles defender trying to go get the ball. But yeah, man, it's funny because I told you guys some weeks ago, you know, I never was a, a real huge baseball fan. You know, I adopted the Yankees because a lot of friends and family were Yankee fans. But I decided now, because of MLB The Show, I'm going to get more involved with baseball and really learn the details of the major leagues and things of that nature. So I decided to adopt the Pittsburgh Pirates, and that's who I'm going to be a fan of from here on out. All right. Now, it's mighty funny because somebody told me that, you know, get ready for a lot of heartbreak. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> you know, is he talking about just losses and things like that? But obviously he was talking about more than just wins and losses. As we all know now, Sterling Marte is, has been suspended for PED use. So that's pretty crazy, guys. But yeah, I had to make a little fun out of him in the title there. Thought that was pretty funny, but it is what it is. So let's get back to the gameplay here, man. You know, we were able to get that one run in the first. Now we're on the pitching side of things. We get him to do a, a very small ground ball there. I don't even know if you would really call that a ground to get him out for the first out. And I am playing right now with quick counts, you know, to try to get this game a little faster. I like both quick counts and, you know, playing the full franchise game as far as each and every, you know, strike, each and every uh, at bat, et cetera, et cetera. But the quick counts, you know, it's I, I like it. You know, I think I might continue to do that, allow me to speed through some of these games because they could be extremely long. You know, I think the times that I will actually play the full game is when I do a stream you know in that regard it's definitely more entertaining because I'm interacting with you guys but you know when I'm just doing footage like this where I'm playing the game chopping it up quick counts is gonna be the thing for me now look at this man look at how Andrew McCutcheon is able to get over there very underrated very underrated feature in MLB to show there's no speed burst your speed is what it is and I think this should be like that in all sports games particularly games like Madden and NFL football but you know I'll save that commentary for another video but here we are guys in the second inning one and one count my guy Dave here is able to get a ground ball but he's gonna ground right into an out so we are out right there Cervelli with two outs and one and one count nice shot guys deep 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 but not deep enough Trumbo was able to go ahead and get that out right there, retire the side, and now we're back pitching to the Orioles in the bottom of the second. Nice fastball right there, two and two count. Fouled away, so it's still at two and two. We're going to come back with another fastball, and he's fighting, guys. He's trying not to get struck out. So here we are again. Nice low fastball to the inside. Got him swinging. And I love the, the, you know, the immersion right here, how they show you exactly what happened. I'm telling you, man, these are all the type of things you've got to have when you're replicating a real-world sport. It needs to look and feel like the sport does on TV. All right, two or two count with one out. And it's a nice, hard ground ball there but we're able to scoop it up and I need to go in and cut off some of these tutorials now you know I've kind of got you know a grasp of most of these things you know I do leave them on from time to time to remind me of certain things like base running but I think it's probably time for me to go ahead and cut those off as you saw it flash there just a moment so here we are in the third guys one and one count and we get us a nice base hit right here man so I'm doing a very good job with batting 
you know, definitely improving in that department. Still have the dynamic batting going on, so, you know, it's going to definitely, you know, increase or decrease my performance uh, based on, or my difficulty based on my performance. And here's Marte again, Mr. P.E.D. <laughs> Chasing a slider. Still remains to be one of the toughest pitches for myself. Got a one and two count here with zero outs, two men on board. And look at what happens, man. We pop it up and infield fly. Worst thing that could happen right there. We needed to get that ball at least deep. You know, if we're going to pop pop it up, it needs to be a deep shot or at least get a base hit with two guys on. That would have worked out great. So here we are, guys, with a three and one count. And we get us a nice hit, guys. And there it is again with the tutorial right there. Now, look at what's going to happen here, man. <laughs> I'm thinking I have a grasp for the base running down. Look, I get hung up right there. Uh, oh, okay, no, it's, it's not this one. Well, you'll see it later. You'll see it a bit later, what I'm talking about. It might be right here. Here it is. Look, look. I waited too long with the third base runner. And <laughs> get, get her out right there at home. You know, I wasn't able to get him back in time. But it is what it is. And we still got some room for improvement in that area. So now we've increased our lead to 3-0, 2-2 count right here, two outs. And there it is again, guys. Got me stretching and reaching for the slider, retires the side. So here we are, bottom of the third, 1-2 and two count here. And we get him. You know, the strikes out, strikeouts are coming very regularly for me, guys. Loving it. 0-2 count. Pitch it right down the middle, and he gets nice contact there, and he's going to get a solid base hit. You know, nothing to be worried about, but we just have to keep that in the back of our minds. We get another guy to do one of those little quick, you know, a pooch hit, I guess I would call it. You know, just a quick little grounder. Gets him out. Two outs. And look at this, man. I throw it to the wrong base. Probably wasn't going to get the third base runner anyway. But it is what it is. Two outs, two and two count. And we're going to send the heat right by him. Strike him out. We're going to retire the side. So we're doing a great job with pitching. Full count right here. See what we got going on here. No outs. Come on, give me something. Give me something. Ah, of course. A swing and a miss. And I'm almost certain that probably was. That looked like a changeup. That looked more like a changeup than a slider, but the slider is the one that's just been killing me, guys. All right, one out, two and two count. Let's get something good to hit here. Ah, nice contact, nice hit, but it's just definitely not the best location. Third baseman makes a great play on the ball. And we're retired right there with two guys out. So, Savelli is back up to hit two outs. 0 oh and two count. Good eye, good eye right there. He throws the splitter. A one and two count. So we're going to be looking for a strike here. And worst case scenario. And I just said I'm going to look for a strike, and I still end up swinging at a bad pitch. <laughs> and he gets us out there. So here we are, two and two. Let's see what we're calling for. All right, fastball inside, full count. Let's see if we can get him. Great location on that pitch. Got him to pop it up into the foul area, but we're going to run over there and make the play, and we get the first out of the inning. All right, one and one count. Try to throw that curveball in there to get him into a one and two. He fouls it off. Catcher is asking for another fastball, so let's see what's, what's going to happen here, guys. Perfect pitch. Perfect hit location in terms of what we wanted. And we're able to get that out right there. So here we are, two and two count, two outs. Got him swinging on a four-seam fastball, guys. Low and away. I mean, that that's my money pitch right there. And as you can see, man, we're making contact, you know, with the bat. We're just not getting as many hits as you would want to, you know, would be accustomed to, like earlier in the game. You know, we're making a lot of contact with this ball. It's just not falling the way we want it to fall. So, good eye right here again. Got to give myself a pat on the back to get myself on base here. 
Here's Mr. P.E.D. again. <laughs> one out, one and one count. As we eat a strike right there, so it's one, two count right now. Score is still three to zero. Trying to get a base hit right here, guys. Get my guy in position to get a score. And there we are, guys. Great hit right there. And it definitely froze my base runner right there. You know, the uh, guy that was currently on first base, he wasn't sure whether or not that was going to be a catch or not. So he held up. But either way, he's probably not going to get three out of that. So here's Josh again. One and one count, one out, two on base. So we're just looking to get a nice solid base hit. Are we going to get it? Not right there. Woo, 96 mile per hour fastball, guys. There we go, guys. Nice contact. It falls, so we're going to get somebody at least one home. We're going to try to get two home. Nah, we're going to hold up this time, okay? We learned from that lesson <laughs> in the previous uh, innings. We're definitely not going to make that mistake anymore. So here we got Andrew McCutcheon coming up. Difficulty has been increased. Like I said, man, I've been doing a great job hitting in this particular game. One and one count, one out. Oh, and just late, just late behind that splitter. Very late, actually, as, as my feedback is telling me there. Could have been a good pitch right there, but we just, we you know, the, the eye test just didn't work out for us. We waited too long. Here we are. Here's another great pitch. We're just a little early. Nice pitch outside right there. Good eye, good eye. Two and two count. Looking for a strike right here, guys. Just trying to put the ball in a nice position. As you can see, I'm trying to direction, do a directional hit here. Nice eye, nice eye. Full count, and once again, guys, we are late. McCutcheon is unable to catch up with that heat. Four-seam fastball. As you can see, I was too late, and he got me out there. So here we are with my, my man, Polanco. Two and one count. And that's a great, ah, almost a great hit, guys. I almost got excited right there. But that was a, a nice swing, nice cut. But that's all right, guys. Have no fear. Ah, we thought that one was out of there, guys. But hey, just short. Just coming up a little short from the, from the wall. Good hits. Again, good contact. We're just not getting all of the shots that we want. But hey, you can't be mad. We have a lead right now, 4-0. And I'm going to bring in Trevor Williams right here. He's my lowest rated picture. I figured why not Why not get him some work in training camp, see if we can build him up a little bit. So you're going to see him do his thing real quick here. All right, so one and one count against the first batter. Here we are starting off. Perfect pitch right there. Perfect release. We get him to pop it up in the infield. And we're going to get that first out right there. So All right, now we're taking on Castillo. Full count right here, so I'm gonna throw a nice fastball just inside there. Put a man on base. It's definitely not what you want to do, but that's all right. Keep your head up. All right, one and two count. Great release right there, and we're able to get him looking on the third pitch, guys, and get that third strike. So here's Adam Jones. Got him in a full count as well. Hmm. Got him swingers. <laughs> so we come in the game, get two quick K's that fast. That's what I'm talking about. And that pretty much does it, guys. The game was over by the time we got to the fifth inning. Final score ended up being 6-1. to one. So there was no need to show the rest of that. You know, don't want to hold you guys extremely long. Look at them. They dabbing and clowning and all kinds of stuff. Happy about the win. So we'll take it. So yeah, man. Definitely I will be bringing a lot more of this to you. You know, just trying to, to chop it up the way it needs to be because these games are extremely long. So, like I said, man, quick counts is something that's going to help me out. And if you're looking for me to play each and every, you know, each and every swing, each and every at-bat, each and every pitch, then you can definitely look forward to that when I'm live streaming some of the, you know, the franchise gameplay. But outside of that, man, I appreciate everybody watching. We're going to take a look at the highlights here. Take a look at the highlights of the video. I said highlights of the video. Well, basically, highlights of the game is what I meant to say there. And that will take care of it, guys. So, hey, again, thank you guys for coming through and watching. Got to always remind you guys, man, if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and sub 
do yourself a favor, cut on your notifications so you're always aware when a new a video is available for you to watch. And I promise you guys, it will never hurt you to hit that like button. All right, guys, until next time, catch you in the next video. Peace.